sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man. Nicki Minaj and Joe Budden got into it, I guess, on Nicki Minaj radio show, Queen Radio. Um, Megan Thee Stallion was originally supposed to be on um, on a radio show as a guest. Joe Budden and some of his crew came over and basically Nicki Minaj used it as, um, let me check Joe on some stuff he said in the past. And also, you know, she wanted to promote her new album. She said her fifth new album, a studio album is dropping. And that's what it's all about. Okay. You know, she used this. For publicity, her her career's drying out bad. All right, you know her albums sales ain't doing too good. Tours shows ain't doing too good. And baby girl, forty years old, you know, and she don't want to willingly pass the crown to Cardi Cardi B. Okay, and the crown has been passed. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about it. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate the love support. Hit subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, you know, basically it's really about her promoting her album and trying to get some traction. And, you know, one of the first things that, that kind of started the argument or kind of built the tension up to almost boiling point was when Joe Budden said it was a, a marketing scheme to do Hot Girl Summer. It was pre-planned and Nicki Minaj maintains that. Um, it was spontaneous. Her and Megan the Stallion, who is a woman named the Stallion, which is that is an uncastrated male horse. I mean, this generation is just weird as fuck. Okay, so that's her name, right? And she's supposed to be a college educated woman. She went to Texas Southern. I don't know if she's still a ten, and she didn't know the meaning of her name, right? We talked about that a few times. Check out the music entertainment playlist, by the way, if you wish. And a lot of different playlists we got. So they did the little Instagram live thing and she said that she dropped her verse after the Instagram live after, you know, I guess her and Megan had politicked on live and she actually, it actually wasn't pre-planned is what she maintaining, right? And my whole thing about it, if you telling the truth, you ain't really never got to raise your voice. You know, you know, you really never get out of character if you telling the truth. Only when you, when you of age, she 40, right? Only when... You lying, you feel like you gotta, how can I say, you feel like you gotta change the guy, the person, woman, or, uh, or man mind that you arguing with. If you maintain that you're innocent, you maintain it was the, it was the truth that what you're saying, it's just like, it's no, it's in the discussion. Obviously, she looked guilty as hell. It was pre-planned in my opinion too. But it's nothing wrong with that. Because everything she doing right now was pre-planned and trying to build her name up. If you notice, since Meek got rid of her, and I said this a couple times on the channel, his status been going up. When he was with her, he was slipping downstairs and joint case. And sometimes somebody with a toxic soul and just a bad aura about them, they can hold you back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And since Meek shook Nicki Minaj, his career been going great. You know, deals with Michael Rubin, Robert Kraft, new, you know, felony wiped off. He get to fight a new case with a new judge. Jay Z helping him out. One of his best albums today, Championships, love the album, and he on fire. But when he was with Nicki, it just seemed like he couldn't he couldn't even build a fire with a match and some gasoline. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you got toxic toxic people around you, it stops your momentum. Well, you can't build no momentum. For Nicki Minaj, since she left Meek, her momentum is still going downhill. And everything she doing is trying to build that momentum. To be back on top of the game. It's like an older NBA player. trying That was the number one player in the NBA. 40 years old. 38 years old. Trying to recapture that glory. Or an older fighter. You know who's on top of the game. That retired. Trying to recapture that glory. Like she can't recapture it. You know. You know. her. She can't build that momentum up with Cardi B. Even if Cardi B knocked off the streets. It's hard for her to build that momentum up. In music and rap. Once the once the, the the sound change, it's it's very very few Jay Z's and LL Cool J's that can jump eras or jump decades and, and change with the sound. You know what I'm saying? So this ain't nothing you know out of the ordinary. This happens to you know 99.9 percent of the rappers. 
only very, very few rappers can change and stay relevant and drop really good music that can relate to different generations. So I'm not trying to knock her. But then, you know, Joe Budden has said she was on drugs while attack, attacking like Cardi B and Quavo. And he said she was on drugs. Her whole, la- her whole album, her last album was full of drugs. And she got mad at him. She said, you always trying to tear down women. So she tried to pay the feminist, the feminist card. And when women, when they get in a position of weakness or when they wrong, a few things that they do is cry. One of the things they do is cry. And they trying to get sympathy out of you, even if they're in the wrong. And another thing that they're doing now is playing the feminist role. Where, oh, you you just against women. All you do is tear down women. Joe Budden tore down more men than he tear down women. Okay? <laughs> that ain't the case. But, you know, then Joe said, so you never popped a pill. You never popped a pill. Or you never did drugs. You never did drugs. He tried to make it seem like it was cocaine or some shit. Um, and, you know, and she and he was like, she was like, she cut his mic off. She said, I never said I didn't do that. And, you know... Your mother didn't raise you to do this. So she really got irate when he brought up her drug history. And she admit that, you know, that she was doing drugs and she was going through some crazy times. Remember Gucci, man, before he went to jail and got cloned and came out. He was on drugs, fighting people at the mall, attacking people, attacking Nicki Minaj on Twitter and photoshopping videos and stuff. But long story short, she says she got a fifth album coming out. She used Joe Budden to promote her her album, to promote her brand and stay relevant. Just like she using Megan Thee Stallion to stay relevant. But she had never recaptured that momentum. She said she got a hot producers on there. Um, and I'll link some video sources in the description and some articles. But she never just captured that momentum again. Maybe when she tour, when she retire or something. But it's over with. And she just can't segue into fashion like Rihanna, Beyonce. She can't segue into fruitful ventures. She just want to stay in the rap game. And the rap game is a beginning. You know what I'm saying? Uh you know, that's just why I'm looking at it. But that's Goodfellow Sports TV. Make sure you check out our sponsor, the Health Blaze, the Blaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow on Box, get 18% off the 100% all natural products. Check out my website, promo code description. we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All the information in the description, source, or article links there as well, too. One time for the one time, Goodfellow Sports TV. We go.